Good evening, viewers. You're watching Kashmir News Bureau. I'm Kaisada Hergovdi, Top Stories. Longest surviving top commander of Hizbul Mujahideen killed in Handwara encounter, says IGP Kashmir. Vijay Kumar, Inspector General of Police Kashmir Wing, said that a top commander of Hizbul Mujahideen outfit was killed in the encounter, which raged in Handwara area of North Kashmir's Kupwara district. The firefight started during the intervening night of July 6th and 7th. While well, as per police officials, a person was arrested at a checkpoint at the Bhutian area of Handbara and from his possession, a grenade was recovered. Officials said that during questioning, he identified himself as Maharajuddin Halbai, also known as the Bey, a resident of Kushal Matu Sopo, an active militant commander of Hizbul Mujahideen outfit. Moreover, as per police, he disclosed further information which led to several cordon and search operations and one among them was conducted at village area Pazipora Renan of Kral Gund in Handwara. As per officials, when the castle was started, Babe tried to pinpoint the location where he had kept his arms and ammunition. Police officials said that upon reaching at the disclosed hideout location, Babe picked up his hidden AK-47 rifle and started firing indiscriminately upon the joint team of security forces, which led to an encounter, and in the gun battle, he got killed. ED summoned to Mufti Muhammad Said's wife, highly humiliated, says PAG. The summoning of widow of former Union Minister, late Mufti Muhammad Said, by the Enforcement Directorate is highly humiliating, and there are not enough words to condemn such coercive acts, People's Alliance for Gupta Declaration said today. In a statement, PAG spokesperson said that the mother of Mahbubah Mufti is an old and frail lady, and summoning her is nothing but pressure tactics of the government. The statement read, and I quote, Irony is that the summon was issued just hours after PDP declined to meet the visiting delimitation commission. It further said that muzzling the voices of dissent by using probe agencies against the political opponents is unacceptable. PATD said, and I quote, This is nothing but part of vindictive policies to suppress dissent and disagreement and to silence the genuine demand for the reversal of unilateral and unconstitutional decisions of August 5, 2019. They strongly condemned the issuance of someone to Mufti Muhammad Said's widow and demanded that such vindictive measures must be put to an end immediately. No internet suspension on 8th and 13th July. Surveillance will be increased, says IGP Kashmir. Inspector General of Police Kashmir Range Vijay Kumar said that internet services won't be snapped on 8th and 13th July, but police will increase its surveillance to ensure peace remains intact. Talking to reporters in Srinagar, IGP Kashmir said that a police party went to Sayyid Ali Shakilani's house to confirm whether he had called for any strike on 8th and 13th July, but his family members denied and termed posters on Gilani's name as He said that police won't snap the internet, but surveillance will be increased to keep anti-social and anti-peace elements at bay during these days. Vijay Kumar also said that an online portal from across the line of control had published posters calling for the strike. Bollywood legend Dilip Kumar passes away at 98. Legendary Bollywood actor Dilip Kumar breathed his last during the morning hours today in Mumbai's Hinduja Hospital. His burial was held in Juhu Kabristan at Santa Cruz, Mumbai in the evening. 98 years old actor was taken to the hospital on Wednesday last week after complaining breathlessness. The doctor looking after him said that Dilip passed away due to prolonged illness at 7.30 a.m. Moreover, a tweet posted from the Dilip's official handle by a family friend, Prasal Farooqi, said, With a heavy heart and profound grief, I announce the passing away of our beloved Dilip Saab. We are from God and to Him we return. Our people across the country are remembering the veteran actor and tributes on social media have been pouring in. Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi also expressed deep grief over the demise of legendary actor and said his passing away is a loss to the cultural world. Moreover, Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha and several other politicians also offered their heartfelt condolences to Dilip Kumar's family and his admirers.
Well, that's it for the day. For more stories, do visit our website, kashmirnewsbureau.com. And for quick news, follow us on social media platforms. Goodbye.